Zechariah chapters 1 to 14. Chapter 1. Call to Repentance. 1 in the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo the prophet, saying, To the Lord has been greatly displeased with your fathers. 3 Therefore say you unto them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Turn you unto me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, says the Lord of hosts. For be you not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Turn you now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings, but they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, says the Lord. 5 Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, did they live forever? 6 But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways, and according to our deeds, so has he dealt with us. Horse among the myrtle trees. 7 Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo the prophet, saying, Eight I saw by night, and behold a man riding upon a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the hollow, and behind him there were red, speckled, and white horses. Nine then I said, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show you what these are. Ten and the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom the Lord has sent to walk to and fro through the earth. Eleven and they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees, and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and, behold, all the earth sits quietly, and is at rest. Twelve then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long will you not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah, against which you have had indignation these threescore and ten years? Thirteen and the Lord answered the angel that talked with me with good and comforting words. 14 So the angel that talked with me said unto me, Cry, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. 15 And I am very much displeased with the nations that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they furthered the disaster. 16 Therefore thus says the Lord, I have returned to Jerusalem with mercies, my house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts, and a measuring line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. 17 Cry again, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall again be spread abroad, and the Lord shall again comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Four horns and four carpenters. 18 Then I lifted up my eyes, and saw, and behold four horns. 19 And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. 20 And the Lord showed me four craftsmen. 21 Then said I, What are these coming to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head but these have come to terrify them, to cast out the horns of the nations, who lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. Chapter 2. Man with the Measuring Line. When I lifted up my eyes again, and looked, and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand. Two then said I, Where go you? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is its breadth, and what is its length. 3 And, behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, 4 And said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls because of the multitude of men and cattle in it. 5 For I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. 6 Come, come, and flee from the land of the north, says the Lord for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, says the Lord. 7. Deliver yourself, O Zion, that dwells with the daughter of Babylon. 8. For thus says the Lord of hosts, after his glory has he sent me unto the nations which plundered you, for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. 9. For, behold, I will shake my hand against them, 
and they shall be a plunder to their servants, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. 10 Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for, lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of you, says the Lord. 11 And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. 12 And the Lord shall inherit Judah as his portion in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. 13 Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he has raised up out of his holy habitation. Chapter 3, Cleansing the High Priest. 1 And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. 2 And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? 3 Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments, and stood before the angel. 4 And he answered and spoke unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused your iniquity to pass from you, and I will clothe you with rich apparel. 5 And I said, Let them set a clean turban upon his head. So they set a clean turban upon his head, and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. 6 And the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua, saying, 7 Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways, and if you will keep my charge, then you shall also judge my house, and shall also keep my courts, and I will give you places to walk among these that stand here. 8 Here now, O Joshua the high priest, you, and your fellows that sit before you, for they are a wondrous sign, for, behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. 9 For behold the stone that I have laid before Joshua, Upon one stone shall be seven eyes, behold, I will engrave its engraving, says the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. 10 In that day, says the Lord of hosts, shall you invite every man his neighbor under the vine and under the fig tree. Chapter 4, Golden Candlestick and Olive Trees 1 And the angel that talked with me came again, and waked me, as a man that is wakened out of his sleep and said unto me, What see you? And I said, I have looked, and behold a lampstand all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and its seven lamps on it, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon its top, three and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon its left side. For so I answered and spoke to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? 5 Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Know you not what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. 6 Then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. 7 Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth its headstone with shoutings, crying, Grace, grace unto it. 8 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 9 The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house, his hands shall also finish it, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. 10 For who has despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice, and shall see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel, these seven are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. 11 Then answered I, and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the lampstand and upon its left side? 12 And I answered again, and said unto him, What are these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes pour out the golden oil? 13 And he answered me and said, Know you not what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. 14 Then said he, These are the two anointed ones, that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Chapter 5, The Flying Roll. 1 Then I turned, and lifted up my eyes, and looked, and behold a flying scroll. 2 And he said unto me, What see you? And I answered, I see a flying scroll, its length is twenty cubits, and its breadth ten cubits. 3 Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. 
For every one that steals shall be cut off according to the writing on this side, and every one that swears falsely shall be cut off according to the writing on that side. For I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with its timber and its stones. The woman in the midst of the ephah. 5 Then the angel that talked with me went forth, and said unto me, Lift up now your eyes, and see what is this that goes forth. 6 And I said, What is it? And he said, This is the basket that goes forth. He said moreover, This is their resemblance through all the earth. 7 And, behold, there was lifted up a cover of lead, and there was a woman that sits in the midst of the basket. 8 And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast her into the midst of the basket, and he cast the cover of lead upon its mouth. 9 Then I lifted up my eyes, and looked, and, behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between earth and heaven. 10 Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Where did these take the basket? 11 And he said unto me, To build it a house in the land of Shinar and it shall be established, and set there upon its own base. Chapter 6, The Four Chariots 1 And I turned, and lifted up my eyes, and looked, and, behold, there came four chariots out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. Two before the first chariot were red horses, and before the second chariot black horses, three and before the third chariot white horses, and before the fourth chariot dappled horses, strong steeds. For then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? Five and the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of heaven, which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. Six the black horses which are there go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them, and the dappled go forth toward the south country. Seven and the strong steeds went forth, and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth, and he said, Go forth, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. Eight then cried he upon me, and spoke unto me, saying, Behold, these that go toward the north country have quieted my spirit in the north country. Crowning of Joshua 9 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 10 Take from them of the captivity, even of Heldai, of Tobijah, and of Jediah, who have come from Babylon, and come the same day, and go into the house of Josiah the son of Zephaniah. 11 Then take silver and gold, and make a crown, and set it upon the head of Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest. 12 And speak unto him, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up in his place. And he shall build the temple of the Lord. 13 Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both. 14 And the crown shall be to Heldai, and to Tobijah, and to Jediah, and to Hen the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of the Lord. 15 And they that are far off shall come and build the temple of the Lord, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. And this shall come to pass, if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 7, Question of Fasting 1 And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius, that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Chislev, to when they had sent unto the house of God Sherezer and Regemelech, and their men, to pray before the Lord, three and to speak unto the priests who were in the house of the Lord of hosts, and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, consecrating myself, as I have done these so many years? Rebuke of Hypocrisy for then came the word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Five speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, When you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did you at all fast unto me, even to me? Six and when you did eat, and when you did drink, did not you eat for yourselves, and drink for yourselves? 
7. Should you not hear the words which the Lord has cried by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity, and her cities round about her, when men inhabited the south and the lowland. Command to repent. 8. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, 9. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. 10. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the sojourner, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. 11. But they refused to hearken, and shrugged the shoulder, and stopped their ears, that they should not hear. 12. Yea, they made their hearts as a flint stone, lest they should hear the law, and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent by his Spirit through the former prophets, therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. 13. Therefore it has come to pass, that just as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, says the Lord of hosts. 14. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land became desolate after them, that no man passed through nor returned, for they made the pleasant land desolate. Chapter 8. Restoration of Israel. 1. Again the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, 2. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. 3. Thus says the Lord, I have returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. 4. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand because of old age. 5. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. 6. Thus says the Lord of hosts, If it is marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, would it also be marvelous in my eyes? Says the Lord of hosts. 7. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country, and from the west country, 8. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, in truth and in righteousness. 9. Thus says the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong, you that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, who were there in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. 10 For before these days there were no wages for man, nor any hire for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the enemy, for I set all men every one against his neighbor. 11 But now I will not be unto the remnant of this people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. 12 For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, and the ground shall give its increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. 13 And it shall come to pass, that as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah, and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. 14 For thus says the Lord of hosts, As I thought to punish you, when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, and I relented not. 15 So again have I thought in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, fear you not. 16 These are the things that you shall do, speak you every man the truth to his neighbor, execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. 17 And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor, and love no false oath, for all these are things that I hate, says the Lord. Rejoice in the future of Israel. 18 And the word of the Lord of hosts came unto me, saying, 19 Thus says the Lord of hosts, the fast of the fourth month, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness, and cheerful feasts, therefore love the truth and peace. 20 Thus says the Lord of hosts, it shall yet come to pass, that there shall come people, and the inhabitants of many cities. 21 And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts, I will go also. 22 Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. 23 Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass, 
that ten men shall take hold, out of every language of the nations, even shall take hold of the robe of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Chapter 9. Judgment on Surrounding Nations. 1. The burden of the word of the Lord is against the land of Hadrach, and will rest upon Damascus, when the eyes of man, as of all the tribes of Israel, shall be toward the Lord. 2. And Hamath also, which borders on it, and against Tyre, and Sidon, though they are very wise. 3. And Tyre did build herself a stronghold, and heaped up silver as the dust, and fine gold as the mire of the streets. 4. Behold, the Lord will cast her out, and he will destroy her power in the sea, and she shall be devoured with fire. 5. Ashkelon shall see it, and fear, Gaza also shall see it, and be very sorrowful, and Ekron, for her expectation shall be ashamed, and the king shall perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. 6. And a mixed race shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. 7. And I will take away his blood out of his mouth, and his abominations from between his teeth, but he that remains, even he, shall be for our God, and he shall be like a leader in Judah, and Ekron like a Jebusite. 8. And I will encamp about my house because of the army, because of him that passes by, and because of him that returns, and no oppressor shall pass through them any more, for now have I seen with my eyes. First Coming of the Messiah. 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, your king comes unto you, he is just, and having salvation, lowly, and riding upon a donkey, and upon a colt the foal of a donkey. Second Coming of the Messiah. 10. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace unto the nations and his dominion shall be from sea even to sea, and from the river even to the ends of the earth. 11. As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant I have sent forth your prisoners out of the pit in which is no water. 12. Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will restore double unto you. 13. When I have bent Judah as my bow, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and made you like the sword of a mighty man. 14 And the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning, and the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. 15 The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour, and subdue with sling stones, and they shall drink, and roar as with wine, and they shall be filled with blood like bulls, and like the corners of the altar. 16 And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as the jewels of a crown, lifted up as a banner over his land. 17 For how great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty! Grain shall make the young men cheerful, and new wine the maidens. Chapter 10 One ask of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds, and give them showers of rain, to every one grass in the field. 2. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams, they comfort in vain, therefore they went their way as a flock, they were troubled, because there was no shepherd. 3. My anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the leaders, for the Lord of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and has made them as his royal horse in the battle. For out of him came forth the cornerstone, out of him the tent peg, out of him the battle bow, out of him every ruler together. 5. And they shall be as mighty men, who tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle, and they shall fight, because the Lord is with them, and the riders on horses shall be put to shame. 6. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to restore them, for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. 7 And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as with wine. Yea, their children shall see it, and be glad, their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. 8 I will signal for them, and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they once increased. 9 And I will sow them among the people, 
and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children, and return again. Ten I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt, and gather them out of Assyria, and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon, until room shall not be found for them. Eleven and he shall pass through the sea with affliction, and shall strike the waves in the sea, and all the depths of the river shall dry up, and the pride of Assyria shall be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away. Twelve and I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in his name, says the Lord. Chapter 11. Rejection of the Messiah. 1. Open your doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour your cedars. 2. Wail, O Cyprus, for the cedar has fallen, because the mighty trees are ruined. Wail, O you oaks of Bashan, for the thick forest has come down. 3. There is a sound of the wailing of the shepherds, for their glory is in ruins, a sound of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of the Jordan is in ruins. 4. Thus says the Lord my God, feed the flock for the slaughter, five whose owners slay them, and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. 6. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord, but, lo, I will deliver the men every one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his king, and they shall strike the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. 7. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staffs, the one I called grace, and the other I called unity, and I fed the flock. Eight three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their souls also abhorred me. Nine then said I, I will not feed you, that that dies, let it die, and that which is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let the rest eat every one the flesh of another. Ten and I took my staff, even grace, and cut it asunder, that I might break my covenant which I had made with all the people. Eleven and it was broken in that day, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. Twelve and I said unto them, If you think it good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. Thirteen and the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter a princely price that I was valued at by them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver, and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Fourteen then I cut asunder my other staff, even unity, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. Fifteen and the Lord said unto me, Take unto you yet the implements of a foolish shepherd. Sixteen for, lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land, who shall not visit those that are cut off neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that which stands, but he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their hoofs in pieces. 17 Woe to the worthless shepherd that leaves the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye, his arm shall be wholly dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Chapter 12. Physical Salvation of Israel. 1. The burden of the word of the Lord concerning Israel, says the Lord, who stretches forth the heavens, and lays the foundation of the earth, and forms the spirit of man within him. 2. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. 3. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth are gathered together against it. For in that day, says the Lord, I will strike every horse with terror, and its rider with madness, and I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah, and will strike every horse of the people with blindness. 5 And the governors of Judah shall say in their hearts, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. 6. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in sheaves, and they shall devour all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, 
and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. 9 And it shall come to pass in that day, that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Spiritual Salvation of Israel 10 And I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. 11 In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem, as the mourning of Hadadrimon in the valley of Megiddo. 12 And the land shall mourn, every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, and their wives apart, 13 The family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart, the family of Shimei apart, and their wives apart, 14 All the families that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. Chapter 13 1 In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for sin and for uncleanness. 2 And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they shall no more be remembered, and also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. 3 And it shall come to pass, that when any shall yet prophesy, then his father and his mother that begat him shall say unto him, You shall not live, for you speak lies in the name of the Lord, and his father and his mother that begat him shall thrust him through when he prophesies. For and it shall come to pass in that day, that the prophets shall be ashamed every one of his vision, when he has prophesied, neither shall they wear a robe of coarse hair to deceive. 5 But he shall say, I am no prophet, I am an farmer, for man taught me to keep cattle from my youth. 6 And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds between your hands? Then he shall answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. 7 Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is close to me, says the Lord of hosts, strike the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand against the little ones. 8 And it shall come to pass, that in all the land, says the Lord, two parts in it shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left in it. 9 And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will test them as gold is tested. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, they are my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. Chapter 14, Final Siege of Jerusalem. 1 Behold, the day of the Lord comes, and your spoil shall be divided in the midst of you. 2 For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses plundered, and the women ravished and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Second Coming of the Messiah. 3 Then shall the Lord go forth, and fight against those nations, as when he fought in the day of battle. 4 And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall split in two, toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very great valley and half of the mountain shall move toward the north, and half of it toward the south. 5 And you shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto us all. Yea, you shall flee, like as you fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah, and the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with him. 6 And it shall come to pass in that day, that the light shall not be clear, nor dark, 7 But it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day, nor night, but it shall come to pass, that at evening time it shall be light. 8 And it shall be in that day, that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the eastern sea, and half of them toward the western sea, in summer and in winter shall it be. Kingdom of the Messiah. 9 And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, in that day shall there be one Lord, and his name one. 10 All the land shall be turned into a plain from Geba to Rimmon south of Jerusalem, and she shall be lifted up, and inhabited in her place, from Benjamin's gate to the place of the first gate, and the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the king's winepresses. 11 And men shall dwell in it, 
and there shall be no longer utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. 12 And this shall be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall rot away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall rot away in their sockets, and their tongue shall rot away in their mouths. 13 And it shall come to pass in that day, that a great panic from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. 14 And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the nations round about shall be gathered together, gold, and silver, and apparel, in great abundance. 15 And so shall be the plague on the horse, on the mule, on the camel, and on the donkey, and on all the beasts that shall be in these tents, so shall this plague be. 16 And it shall come to pass, that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. 17 And it shall be, that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. 18 And if the family of Egypt goes not up, and comes not, they will have no rain, there shall be the plague, with which the Lord will smite the nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. 19 This shall be the punishment of Egypt, and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. 20 In that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses, holiness unto the Lord, and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. 21 Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them, and boil in them, and in that day there shall be no more a Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts.